Greetings from Bermuda, this is BDL Army and welcome back to Fights in Tight Spaces, where we are about to take on the ninjas in Jade Staff. A secretive ninja clan acting behind the scenes for over a thousand years, the Jade Staff is responsible for organized terror attacks throughout the world. With communications exclusively conveyed via disposable human messengers, authorities around the world have so far been unable to track down any of the clan's leaders. I wasn't expecting to have to say this, but Berlin has a ninja problem. Don't we all? An ancient clan called the Jade Staff is infiltrating all layers of the criminal underworld. Let's try to put a cap on this before it becomes a local problem too. Alright, headquarters. Four targets. Let's go. Some objects in the environment, like the windows in this room, can be destroyed. Use them as part of an attack enough times and they will break, allowing you to push enemies through them. Once fully destroyed, the void tile will become active. Okay. So, it deals 12 damage up to 3 tiles away. target. Alright, good. What can we do? Well, we could move there with that. We need a way of getting behind him. emergency move well we could emergency move what child have they got 32 like using emergency move early but we could do it to move there um, move to either side of adjacent enemies so yeah we could use it to move there we could use slip to move there then we could do a head smash oh no it'll turn to faces then Could do a couple of kicks or a push as well. How many times we've got to hit these before? Uh, oh, we can just push him straight out the door. Actually, that would be better. That would be better. But we still got to use our emergency move to do it. I think. Um, slip to move one tile. Can we? Uh, what's the range of push? Push is one. That's range one. Yeah. All right, let's do it. It's worth it. Quick dispatch. Goodbye. Okay. So then we can slip here. And I'm going to try kicking him into the wall a few times or kicking him into the window see if we can get it to break uh, so I guess we want to start with that and anything that won't make him turn around four damage and push uh, uh, what's the push damage at the moment I think that's going to be more than a straight eight damage. Oh, okay. So hit it once and it breaks and a second time you'll go through it. Good. Well, you've dropped into a very convenient position. As long as I've got a push. 
Please tell me I've got a push. And I've got a left spin kick to push him to the left. I have no push. Ah, oh, man. We have two tiles in any direction, unless I could end up there with two combo left spin kick. Pretty sure I can't do that. But I could do a throat punch. He has no block, so that will stun him. So, move there, throat punch. And then hopefully he'll be still in position for me to kick him out the door next time. Uh, but just in case, should have opened with that probably. Oh my god, I can almost kill him. In fact, with left spin kick, I could kill him. Uh, uh, yeah, I guess, why not? Okay. Thunder. Front kick, long strike. Combo finisher. Front kick. Uh, oh no, I'm not in range. Oops. Okay, well we can go there. And then do... Uh, do I want to close? Probably. And then combo finisher. Okay, those ninjas were easier than the ones on the train. Got some money. Alright, start strong defense at six block and one conditioning. Uh, one last thing, deal damage equal to the number of cards in your discard pile. Linking move. Move one tile, increase combo by one. But we have to spend two combo to do it. Uh, or I could skip. But anyone who's watched me play any of these deck builder games will know I cannot skip a card when offered one. So let's take one last thing. Okay. S train. Okay, that would be more ninjas on the train. Five targets, four targets. Uh, so that has an option to improve our max health. It will also let us go to medical, which we don't need at the moment. Also, medical is very expensive. Uh, maybe going to the gym would be better. I feel like it's going to be a harder fight, but let's go. Enemies with damage support periodically increase their own and allies damage by a set amount. If you prevent them from acting this turn, for example by stunning or throwing them, that ability will not trigger. Oh boy, everybody's hitting for a lot. Although, that's good if we can get them to hit each other. <laughs> Zero damage. Okay, it's about time for that to show up. Okay, well we can throat punch and stun the guy in front of us. So we just have to get there. So, dash. Oh, U turn. I didn't notice that you turned. That was careless. Well, then, can I swap? You don't turn, right? 
If I swap with him, he turns to face me, but I can still throat punch him. It does mean I'm kind of backed in a corner. Uh, but at least I am not getting hit this turn. They will do. Why didn't he hit him? I don't get it. Why didn't he hit him? Was he not attacking? He was attacking. Oh god. This is what I was worried about. There is still space to maneuver over there. some of these abilities only target enemies. I don't think so. All right. Uh, well, he's only got four health left. Move here. Okay, he doesn't turn. No, neither of them turn. Okay, good. So... Waiting for target. Okay, why is... He's waiting for target. Do they not attack each other? Okay, for my upgrade, I need to push three, or for whatever this is, I need to push three enemies out of the board. I'm not going to get that. Um, hmm. Let's slip to here. understand when they attack each other and when they don't. Okay, slip to there. Because if I don't have to kill it, like I'd rather let him kill him, but it really looks like he's not gonna. Uh, I guess. Why? All right, well, let's just take him out. Let's... Hammer fist you. And let's left spin kick you. And that ought to put you... Yeah, okay, so now they both have a target. Maybe... I don't know how the targeting works, that's really weird. Maybe you've got to move a target into their sight range on their turn. Alright, well... Enemies with Armoured Strike deal damage equal to the amount of block they have when attacking. Lower their block to weaken their attack. Okay, there's lots of different mechanics in this game I, I like. Alright. But he cannot hit me from where he is. I'm getting hit for a lot. 
Um, these guys both turn to face me, which sucks. And they've got a huge amount of luck as well. Get out of the way. Uh, we could get 10 block, we can get 18 block. That's enough to block one attack. Kick and push. Reflex strike in 15 block and 8 is 23. Uh, still taking a lot of damage. What if we move two tiles and then we're just facing him? Yeah. Move there. Reflex strike. So now he's only hitting for four anyway. Um, and if I actually, if I kick him again, he's not hitting for anything. I'll move him back in line with the door as well. Maybe we can do something. Or I just put up counter. And then I can deal damage when he hits me. Probably makes more sense. Okay. Swap. Uh, if we can get one more combo, we'll get that. Uh, which swap will do. Uh, and then we can kick him back so he's not going to hit us. So. Thinking strike deals zero damage. Does that persist until next turn? I might as well do it anyway. Mm, no, does not. He has so much block. They both have 24 block. That is insane. All right, well, we definitely need to stun one of them. Oh, well, you got block, we can't stun you. Eh. <laughs> yeah, I should have killed these early. Uh, 
Uh, does push give us more combo as well? I guess we want to finish. We want to like hit him as many times as we can, and then move out of the way, and then combo finisher, and then move out of the way. So push. I did. Quick strike. I guess we still do... Oh no, we... Uh, yeah, we can do that. Even though we can't stun, we can still do the damage. And it gives us more combo. And then 28 damage on him is actually almost enough to kill him. could stay where we are. No, we couldn't. We need to move. Alright, you're going out the door, mate. Hopefully. Oh, I never get a push when I need it. Okay, but you were low on health, so I can just move forward. Hopefully. Move there. Uh, reflex strike. I should have done something on him before I moved. I always get caught up in getting out of the way. Um, yeah, I don't want to lose the health. Twenty-three. This is still not great. Okay, but we are taking 19 damage now, so we can we can put up defense. That's not quite enough defense, unfortunately. So I think we're gonna use that to move. Oh, again, stun when he has no block. Uh, okay, so we'll use this to move out the way. Stun dart for the nine damage. Unless I can get rid of his block. Move one. No, I can't get rid of his block. Persists between turns. I thought you lose block at the beginning of turns, though, don't you? Let's find out. Yes. Oh, actually, that doesn't. Wait. Okay. No, I didn't get any block off that. Uh, wait, get out of my discard pile. There we go. Okay, what can we do with you? Twenty-two blocks still. If we get two combo, I can left spin kick. Uh, I can... Uh, I need to not use head smash. 
but I can snap strike and quick strike and I think that should do it. block to counter this move so just do that down to two block yeah so 11 block and then why well, lose it yeah okay why are they allowed to keep block between turns that's cheating all right <laughs> slowly getting him down Six damage, one push. That would actually get us out of range. Or we just close in and... Dodge. Slip. Dodge. Finisher. Block how that it matters. If I have dodge. Oh god. <laughs> I always get this at a bad time. Um okay. Push in, push. He turns to face me. Free movement. So let's just kick him. And then step, we can kick again and then we can shift. get the this plus two max combo that's all right we rarely get up there anyway flash powder deal three damage to all standing enemies hunker down convert four momentum to block remove all momentum lose two health gain two modifier Jim, upgrade cards, remove card. Buy card, rising knee, eight damage, one push. Moving to vacated tile, the tile behind the target must be empty unless the attack will KO the target. Jump kick, advance and deal 12 damage. Deal four damage apply, minus two damage modifier, does not trigger auto attack. It's got a random card, move up to three tiles. Okay, let's look at the upgrades. We've got $95. Uh, what do we use a lot? Slip. I like the idea of making it free. It is so expensive to do anything in this game though. 
Rates the damage to nine. That's fairly cheap. Quick block 12, block for free. I mean, I often find that we use the movement cards if we get them. Wait, what is this doing? Move to the other side of adjacent enemy and maintain combo. Okay, that's expensive to upgrade there. Uh, I like the idea of making slip free. Oh, and the price increases for the second card. Oh my God, so I can't afford anything else. Oh, now this game is a bit miserly with money. Subway platform, six targets. Push them onto the tracks. And be careful, I don't get pushed onto the tracks. Five fists, deal three damage five times. Yeah, okay, and so if they start in front, then it doesn't trigger them. Uh, 12 damage and one push. So you'd actually push me out of the way of him, which would be pretty good. Just throat punch the guy in front of me. We separate. I wonder if that will trigger him to attack him as well. I uh, block. Uh, combo counter. Add 10 block. Deal 8 damage and 2 damage per combo. That does give me block. All right. That did not cause him to start triggering his attack. Um, okay, it's just gonna throw a punch you. And combo, oh that will, yeah, because I start with three, so that'll give me 13, so that's perfect. So I will take the hit. And take the push. Oh, but I didn't counter, because he was, ah. Uh, counter, you only counter if they're next to you. Take him down. Then we'd have to deal with him. Uh, okay, he only needs 10 damage. <coughs> we don't get the benefit of the conditioning because we don't have any more. Any block. I guess he can move one away. He can only hit in front of him. So. We're gonna move one space with that. distance, maintain distance. And move one and hopefully next turn I can put this guy on the other side of me and then push him. Oh god, another one. Okay, well at least I've boxed myself in. 
damage in this situation I think is good. Do not want to get hit by him though. his health 52 dodges next incoming attack as well Oof. that's annoying uh well let's do a snap strike and dodge that we can dash to get out of the way i'm gonna leave myself one energy Weakening strike is good for you because it persists. So, we'll do that. Now you're only hitting us for 10. Could even block most of that. Just let us put some damage on you. Do that. You have no blocks, so we can stun you. Uh, in fact, we have 12 blocks, so that is great. Let's smash. Yeah, yeah, do your worst. Five health, ten block. This now deals eighteen damage. Oh, I can't actually push him off <laughs> to get him into the middle. Um, hmm. but I can push him away from me. Or I can push him into him. Wait, no, I can't swap positions with him. I need to get behind him. We could slip out of the way. We can just put. Uh, no, we want to. We want to slip. We can push as well to do some damage. All right. So we could... Uh, can we get our combo up? I don't know. Let's do that. Oh, you dodging again? Shoot, I missed that. Okay, I'm waiting for 19. We will push you. He's only on 10 health. Ah, uh, one more combo. Ah, uh, shoot. Okay, let's back up then. this in three turns. Hammer fist and then left spin kick on that kill. Uh, six damage. No, it won't. Well, okay, we'll do that anyway. And then broad shoulders. So I need to get back there and then do a left spin kick. 
What are you hitting for? Ooh. That would just kill. Let's do that. Counter, combo, counter. We get bleeding. This should be all I need. I don't want to snap strike because he will counter. I really want left spin kick next go. Dealing extra damage when we push people into each other. I almost need to upgrade these uh, basic attacks or get them out of my deck or something. Although having a push is useful. This not so useful. Uh, I guess we're not getting hit. Tyler's in range. Oh, okay. I don't think so. I think surely the pillar would stop it. Can't move, right? Oh, uh, sorry, we dash. Mm. Oh, you're dodging again. I could dash uh, three tiles in front of them. Okay, so if I kill him. him off. Maybe I should get over here anyway. Just so I am better positioned. Damage and one push. Uh, too far away. damage and then one push to adjust the enemy or advance and six damage and one push okay although that looks going to put me right in front of him seems like he knows where I'm going 
Uh, can I finish with a throat punch on him? So we separate. We front kick. Yeah. Separate. Front kick. And then throat punch. Oh, you'd know! He's dodging! Oh, shoot. towards the platform. I do not want to move towards the platform. Oh, I could have done push first. Well, I'll push you anyway. He does not turn to face. that left spin kick when you need it. Okay. Swap places with an adjacent enemy and gain one combo. Do we have a push? We do not. He's only got 10 health. So... Reflex strike him. We... You've only got 12 health, okay. Swap with you. Oh, you're going to counter. Oh, okay. I was going to throw a punch. Will he counter even if I stun him, though? Oh, eight damage and one bleed. Banking on not. Not. Great. And then combo finisher on you. <gasps> you and your dodge! Oh, God. Okay. Fortunately, I can do that. Come on, move next to them. There we go. All right, you're going off the platform. Wait, have you got dodge again? Yes. Snap strike. Dodge this. Alright, just you. And you only have 14, so you are going to die. Ah, too slow, no money. Maintain combo. Combo's not lost with movement this turn or next. It's pretty good. Pull enemy one tile towards you. Fancy footwork. Choose a card to discard. Gain two. Dodge. Oh, that's pretty good. Hear that. Railway arch or stairwell. Six targets. Four targets. Event that way. Another, f uh, ooh, question mark. 
enhanced targets. Uh, mm, let's go this way. <laughs> 